Today, I'm joined by Fiona Needs from Rolls-Royce. Fiona, could you just uh, explain your role at Rolls-Royce, please? Uh, hi, yeah. So I've worked at Rolls-Royce for most of my career. I'm a chartered mechanical engineer, but now I work in programme management. Uh, I'm a programme manager on the Trent 900 engine, which is in the A380 aircraft. Uh, and I support the chief engineer and the life cycle engineering function. So why is it, do you think, that programme engineering and project engineering is so important for engineers? And is there a bit of a, a tussle between people who want to do the engineering but people who, who need the project management? Um, yeah, I think there is. There can be a tension, definitely. I think uh, certainly the company I work for is traditionally has a very, very strong engineering background and that kind of expertise is really valued in people. Um, project management and program management are really very important, certainly from a company management perspective, because it allows you to uh, plan your work to see what you're going to achieve for your budget uh, and then as you go along and progress with your work to see you know if you're on track or behind track um, one of the key things program management gives you is information upon which to make decisions so it's there's no point having lots of lovely graphs and powerpoints unless you have some information that's actionable and you know you either sort of make a course correction or you you know do something about what's going on um, there is a tension, I think, or certainly I've found in my career, for people who have spent a lot of time as engineers and perhaps coming to project management as a kind of new thing and as a new tool. Um, and in some cases, it can be kind of seen as a sort of taxation on people's time, if you like, whereas people are used to kind of performing their job, uh, delivering their tasks without necessarily having to show lots of plans for how they're, when they're going to do things, committing and then being monitored against those timescales. Um, so yeah, so in some, in some areas people do see it as something that's a bit of an add-on that doesn't necessarily give so much value. So what's important to me is to try and articulate the value and to show people why it is important to have information uh, about the project that's being worked on either in a software tool or in any format that's agreed and understood by whoever needs to look at it and whoever's working on the project. So you can actually use those tools to say, wait, we're, we're, we're off budget or we're going in the wrong direction or we're way over time. Let's do something about that now before it escalates and gets to be too late. Yeah, absolutely. So if you've, if you've got a, a budgeted, if, if you imagine you have a, a project that's going to take 12 months and you think you know how much money you're going to spend per month, not all months might be equal, but for various reasons. Um, but yeah, so say if you get midway through the year and you've spent either all, nearly all your money or hardly any of your money, then you can kind of compare, well, how many of my milestones have I achieved versus how much have I spent? And you might find that you've spent all your money because you've done a lot of rework or you've had some emergent risks that you've had to deal with. Or you might find that the resource that you were promised wasn't there because some a higher priority project came along from a different department, maybe. So actually you've achieved you might not have spent any money but actually you haven't achieved anything either so so there's so yeah if you have that clarity then you can think you know what does this mean for me for my project but also for the organization for the company you work in perhaps if say a, a program director is looking across multiple pro projects then she or he might think well this one's doing really well or this one's floundering and maybe move some money around or move, reassign some resources and things. So I think the main thing for me is to use whatever tools you have to, well, to communicate where you are. But the only benefit of that is if you take action and, and behave accordingly with what the information is showing you, because really most of the information you're looking at is just a historic picture 
And the thing that's important and the thing where the value comes is when people learn to interpret that and project it forward and make decisions and take action on whatever the information is telling us. So it's, it's a great tool, but it's actually only as good as the people who are using it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and only as good in a sense as how the organisation and how the culture is accepting of it and understands and interprets the information. Thank you very much, Fiona. Thank you.